All right, before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. It was honestly a few weeks ago we were at 1,000 and we've been growing so quickly. Just a reminder that every time I post a video, I will be streaming afterwards, unless I explicitly say in the video that I'm not. So just go ahead and drop over to my Twitch and say hi. This effect is actually extremely easy to do once again. You just want to go into the effects tab and you want to search S underscore glint. Now, obviously, this is a sapphire effect. I'll leave links in the description to get it, but it is paid. So just keep that in mind. You obviously have to pay for it if you want to get it properly. If you join my Discord server, I'm sure we can help you with that. But anyway, you just want to drag it onto the clip. So you want to go to the point where you get the kill like this. And you can use arrow keys to go left and right. And just before that ammo goes down, you can see it just there. You want to go to the brightness and change it to zero. You want to keyframe the brightness. So you want to place a keyframe just before the kill and then go one to the kill and increase it, I increase it to about 0.2 and you get this sort of glint effect. Now it's up to you whether you want the sort of um, star sort of look. If not, what you can do is you can scroll down here and you can increase the blur of the glint and it will make it more rounded. I like to go to about 50 and it looks just like that. You can also change the color. If you don't like having the default white sort of color, you can just go to um, brightness details, scale colors, and you can just change it. Maybe you want red. I don't know why you'd want red. That looks weird, but you can do that if you want. Usually make it so that it matches the color of your thing. So for example, this looks quite blue. So I might make it blue. But I think it's just better to keep it white really a lot of the time. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So now what you want to do is just before the end, you might want to place another keyframe on the brightness just up here and you might want to lower it a bit maybe maybe to zero maybe to um 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 or something just so that, that it looks like there's something happening with it it's usually best to have more than just this effect though when you're doing it for example you might want to put a shake on or i think it, this looks really good with a blur as well it sort of makes it brighter but anyway let's move on to the after effects version all right, so now we're in After Effects. We just want to do basically the same as what we do in Premiere Pro. So remember, you do need the Sapphire plugin for this. So if you want it, there will be a link in the description, but you can also join my Discord and we'll help you get it. So if you just go to the Effects and Presets tab, and then you just want to search S underscore Glint. So make sure you have the Sapphire pack before you do this. And then you just want to drag it on to the clip. And then you just want to go to the point where you get the kill. And you have to use page up and page down to go forward. So page down goes forward, page up goes backwards. Just go to before the ammo hits like this. So the ammo's four. And then you just want to drag the brightness to zero, keyframe it just up here. And then now there's a keyframe. What you want to do is you want to click on your clip and press U. And that'll bring this down and it'll show you where you've keyframed. So then what you want to do is you want to go one forwards and you want to increase this to about 0.2. And you then want to just scroll across a bit, probably to the end of the clip and put it back to zero or maybe 0 0.5 or 0 0.05 even. I like to go to zero though. And that's that's basically all you need to do, but you can change it. But yeah, I usually like to add the blur. So if we go to about 50 blur, but yeah, that's, that's all you really need to do. You can increase it a bit if you want. I think in After Effects, it's a little less um, bright. So you might want to increase it to about 0 0.4. Cause in Premiere Pro, I think it's a little bit lighter. Maybe not that much, maybe 0.3. It's really up to you. Just keep playing around until you get what you like. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Really with this effect, you can't really have it on its own. You've got to have like a blur or a shake with it. So anyway, that is literally how to do the effect.